Hi there, I'm Les Johnson, and I'm going to be saving Mr. Peter Cottontail on this stand, and I'll show you why. Let's take a look at this hunt. Big old male. Man, oh man, is this thing pretty. Little bit darker colored, but man, is he pretty. What I did on this stand, we set up there in some rock pi a rock pile and uh, a hound right off the bat. I just wanted to let other coyotes know in the area that I was just a lonesome coyote passing through. So I did three long drawn out howls with my diaphragm calls. Um, and very easy to blow. It was simple. And then I sat there for quite a while, just letting things go, seeing if I'd have anything respond to me. Nothing responded. So then I started distress calling and I called several series and I was probably to the point where I was getting down there it was probably 15 20 minutes and I'd seen some antelope come up over here on the hill and they were staring my way and and then one of them turned its head pretty sharp looking straight to the north 
So I thought, man, I can see everything, but I got to keep looking because there's a reason those antelope are there. I always pay attention to the wildlife. Usually antelope, I don't have them come over a hill to stare at me. Um, not a lot. A lot of times they just booger off and then they're gone, you know. Well, then I kept looking, kept looking, and then out of nowhere I see this thing right in front of me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing snuck in on me. So I told Billy, he got on it, and it, it was just a quick sequence, you know, of the kill shot. But big old male, he's coming in initially probably because of the howl, and he was coming in aggressively because he was like, what the heck is catching a rabbit in my area? And that is my two cents on it, but um, just a beautiful coyote. 22250 Thompson Center, Burris Optics, Hornady Superformance, and uh, we've definitely got a big uh, antelope eater down. And we're gonna go get to Colin. This thing came in really good. So we're just gonna get after him right now. I hope you really enjoyed this segment. The thing that was so unique about it, if you'll watch it again if you need to, but pay particular attention to where I set up. I set up by a rock pile, just some flat limestone type rocks or sandstone. They're, they're fairly flat. And you know where I set? The sun's up over here, so I set on the shadowed side. I like to set on the shadowed side. That way I can blend into the background. I'm not on the shiny side, so I, when I turn, I'm shining. So I sit in the, sh the darker side, and when that coyote was coming in, I was watching the antelope that were hard left, and I saw one antelope kept looking down, kept looking down. Here come Mr. Coyote. He was after Mr. Cottontail, and we stopped him, I made a great shot on that coyote. I hope you like this video. Please share it with a friend. Show them what I was doing, try to explain it. It's, it's a great learning instrument, seeing what I was doing on this stand. And I'm finally, I hope you subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna keep bringing videos like this one to the screen. Until next time.